These suckers ain't coming in close enough for a bow shot less than 100 yards or so. He picks the old gun up and he's off to the races now. We're getting right down here to the end. Compass, TC, 300 wind mag. It's going with me. What we're trying to do here is running out of time, and I mean, I, I want some meat before we leave, so I'm gonna shoot a nil guy. So I'm sitting there and we're talking to Bill and we're driving, and I said, hold up. I gotta take a leak real quick, and uh, there's a Sendero right there. I'm just gonna walk up there and look around the corner, and me and Matt both jump out and we did our business, and. That's There's a bull down there. I walked up down there and I come running back to the truck. I mean, Matt's looking at me like, what the hell? You? He's thinking I almost stepped on a snake. I guarantee you that's what he's thinking. Big, big Neil got cow. And a big bull with no more time left on my hunt. 200 yards away, the stalk is on. Got a bull up here in the road feet. We're going to try to close the distance. Ideal was to get within 150-ish right in there. We get right against the edge of the brush on the right side of the Sendero, and I'm, I'm like on them, Matt's like, I really, I can't get them, they're, they're way too far to the right, so we have to readjust and move to the left side of the Sendero. I'm cussing Matt the whole time. They have no clue we're there. I move the crosshairs back for my bullet exit to go right through the front center of the shoulder on the other side. About 10, 12 right there, lock that down. All right, as soon as he turns, Matt, shooting a Hornady Precision Hunter 200 grain ELDX and 300 wind mag. This is what it's designed for. So I'm having to spread the bog pot out, get a little more gun back here and get my elbows on my legs and try to get all this stuff situated. And uh, Matt's like, dude, I got them, take the shot. You hear the bullet hit, thing goes down, and all I see is four feet sticking straight up. Legit. Huh? A little $300 rifle. Aw. I didn't want to do it, man. You know I mean? We've been trying to bow hunt, but you see, they're random. They're, the water's over there where we're set up. What the hell are they just standing out in the middle of the day grazing? And they like to never be back on this spot right here in the next two weeks. They just walk around everywhere. My zipper was still down. <laughs> As I was, you did? I was like, <laughs> Billy pissed himself. Hey, uh, 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 how far down the road is it? Walk down there, look, not the biggest bodied bull and the biggest mature bull in the world, but he had big horns. He had a nice horn. We was cruising around this morning, got out and kind of peeped around the corner, and there was this bull and a cow. Snuck up on him there, and uh, Bill said, uh, they, I mean, they're notorious for being hard to kill. I'm yeah. feeling these, I'm feeling this bone right there. I'm gonna do a little anatomy work on this one because I wanna see, cause I, I mean, we've been bow hunting and we got a solid setup and we tried, but it just, we just don't have, the, we just didn't have the time. I think it's the wildest darn animal in, in, in America. They're cool and they're smart, but we got it done.